Hey everyone, it's Paralympian Jake Templeton here from Australia. And in this week's swimming related information video, I'm going to be crossing off skills and what skills do you need in particular to work on to improve your swimming. Now, from what I gather, based on my group, my clients, people that I talk to daily, they just want to improve on their skills, obviously, but mainly their endurance and their speed. So getting to the end of the lap faster or swimming further within a given workout or training session. Now, like I said, skills is certainly a way that you can achieve this, and it should be one of the main things you think about every day when you jump in the pool. It is something you can work on as a result of process to help you to get towards the outcome. And I know quite often fitness is interchangeable or interrelatable, sorry, with skills because, you know, sometimes you go down the lap, you feel great, great technique, you come home, you're a bit tired and your skills fall apart. So keep in mind that it can be interchangeable or a cause and effect relationship at times, but just by working on the skills alone can help to take you to that next level. Regardless of your fitness, you know, especially if you're super, super fit, then you're not going to be, get, be able to get much fitter. But by working on skills, that's how you can make that improvement. And if you're inexperienced, perhaps you haven't been swimming for that long, then obviously working on skills or both is something that will help. So I have two tips today that you can look at right now to improve on your skills and where you personally are and where you need to go. So the first of these is take a look at yourself on camera while you're swimming. Have a GoPro underwater or a, a waterproof phone or something underwater to film yourself swimming or ask a friend or colleague to film you swim from over the top of the water. Now, make sure you're safe when doing this. Make sure you, you know, adhere to the guidelines of your pool and all of this. But um, the great thing with camera is you can actually see things that you can't sort of feel while you're swimming. Now, I say this because I've experienced this personally. You know, when I was younger, not only was I unaware what overreaching was, for example, which is when you reach past the midline of your body when you do freestyle or backstroke. So I didn't even know what it was in the first place, let alone did I know that I was doing it really badly until... I saw myself doing it on camera. While I was swimming, you know, I felt great. I thought my arms were entering awesome. I felt smooth in the water, but little did I, did I know that this was also having a cause and effect relationship on so many other things down the chain. You know, my hips were going out of whack. I was snaking through the water. I wasn't even holding the water that great. So taking a look on your, at yourself on camera while swimming can really help to visually see what it is that you're doing well, but also you're doing not so well, so you can improve on that. Now, the second thing that I can help you with, and same with the first one as well, um, the second thing is that you need to now know from where you are based on that footage or where you are right now with your swimming, how you're going to improve it. Now, this is where many people just, they, they don't know what it is. They don't know the drills. They don't know the musculoskeletal limitations, what they're doing on land that is limiting them um, to enhance their swimming. So from here, from knowing what you look like, you need to implement skills, drills, land training to enhance your swimming, to take it to that next level. And I can help you with that. So shoot me a private message um, if you really want to learn a little bit more. But for now, um, keep these two things in mind. Keep in mind that personally on an individual level, there's so many different things that you need compared to me, for example, or all the other people around the world. So have a look at where you are right now and then implement some changes, some drills. Perhaps it's just focusing. Perhaps you can do it right now, but you just weren't aware, and you can just change it straight up. That'll be the you know the most ideal um, you know way of doing it. You're overreaching. You know how to do it. Um, so you're just going to enter a little bit wider. You're going to enter at 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock, which is what many coaches, uh, including myself, um, like to talk about. It's just a very easy sort of uh, way of looking at that hand entry for backstroke. So. Keep these two things in mind. Check out my website, www.jacobtemberton.com for more or shoot me a message um, for a little bit more individualized advice. Thanks very much. Cheers. Have a great week.